solving problem for x. So uh, because we have the absolute value sign, we got to solve it two ways because you can have a negative or positive value in the absolute. And as long as it, well, as long as the absolute, absolute amount comes out the same way, you'll get the same answer. All right, so subtract 15 from both sides. And then um, we have negative 3 times 4x minus 7. E oops. Equals negative 15. Oh, it's sloppy. And then divide through by negative 3. So we get 5. So we have 4x minus 7 equals 5. Okay, now we can solve it. So we'll do it two ways. We have just our 4x minus 7 equals 5. And then we have our negative parentheses. 4x minus 7 equals 5. Okay, um... Add 7 to both sides. We have 4x is equal to 12. Divide through by 4. x is equal to 3. Um, distribute the negative 4x plus 7 equals 5. Minus 7 minus 7. Negative 4x equals negative 2. Divide through by negative 4. And x is equal to negative 1 half. Or, excuse me, it's two negatives. It's 1 half. So x is equal to 1 half and 3. And that's it. Okay. I hope this helped you out. Appreciate you watching. You have a great day.